This is Melanie, movie maven gal. I saw a Tamil film tonight that was amazing. Vikram Vedda with Madhavan and Vijay Sethapathy. What kind of school does it? Now I've always loved Madhavan back from Three Idiots and you know his other Hindi roles, Town of Woods Manu. When he's clean shaven he has like this teddy bear aspect. He did that uh, female boxing movie where he was the coach. The Tamil version was Arudi Sutru. He, when he has this beard and he's so buff right now, he's really been working out, he looks like a big bear. I don't know. <laughs> so instead of a teddy bear he's more of a bear. And I think he's been really great in picking scripts that are so good for him. He's very good at comedy. He's had his time doing, you know, the romance films when he was younger. But the last couple of films have been really great and I like the direction he's he's taking his career. Anyway, VJ, I had seen in the fantastic horror film Pizza. If you have never seen the Tamil film Pizza, cannot recommend it highly enough. It is one of the few Indian horror films that actually scared me. It was that, you know, I mean, I was really jumped out of my seat. That was a very clever film. The woman who plays Manavan's wife, Vikram's wife in the film, she's an attorney and her name is Shraddha Shrithanath. The actress was making me crazy and I checked who she was during the interval. She was in the same director who created Pizza. His, second film, his next film, U-Turn, she was the star of that. She was very good. I didn't like U-Turn as much as Pizza, but anyway, she was very good, so it was nice to see her again. So it's a crime gangster drama, but I loved the framing device of the film. So Madhavan is the cop and Veda is the gangster. But the film starts first, the credit sequence ha shows sort of a an animated sequence of this mythical king. And then he's told that all these things are happening to his kingdom. He has to go and defeat a demon. And then the demon captures him and says, let me tell you a story. And so evidently this is a folktale. It's a folktale device. You know, for there's a series of stories that are based on this. So then we go into the story and we see our king, which is Madhavan, who is like a encounter specialist, I guess is the term in the in the police. And you see, you know, he's about to go after these gangsters and he's the head of this whole team of cops. And I, I read Borrowed Wedge um, Rangan's review of this film before I went to see it. And I'm glad I did because he noticed something really key in the costuming. You see Madhavan wearing white. He's the only one wearing white in that first scene when he's introduced. And then the first time we see VJ on screen, he's wearing black. But then over the course of the movie, the colors change. And some of the characters are then wearing shirts of gray. And that is really encapsulates the whole idea of the film and that we think we know who is good, we think we know who is bad, but are all those lines so clear cut? Um, I also read that the, the filmmakers, not only wanted, wanting to frame the movie with this folktale, they also were thinking of things like Catch Me If You Can, the Spielberg movie, which had Tom Hanks and Leo DiCaprio. And you have this gangster who seems to be so crafty and so many steps ahead of the cops and has all of these plots. And also there's all these double crosses and you don't know uh, who whose loyalties and who is who is allied with who really you know what I mean there's all these complex layers to all the subordinate characters and that I found really interesting this is one of the best crime dramas in Indian cinema that I have seen in a very long time it was thoroughly entertaining had a lot of great action and it was the best part 
was there was, you know, some key scenes where you have Madhavan and Vijay either across the table from each other or holding guns to each other's head um, just to see these two powerhouses go mano a mano against each other and trying to match wits and sometimes working together and most of the times working against each other. That was what was so entertaining about this film. Just seeing those two together. I think Madhavan had sort of a montage flashback love story with the one, the actress that played his wife. And then they're the only really dancing kind of, you know, in number, if you can call it that, was sort of a uh, bar song that VJ did and with all of his, his gang. So not, this is not a music centric film. This is, this is an action gangster caper and so entertaining. I'm, I'm going to it on a Tuesday night. It's only playing in very few theaters in the Chicago area. So it wasn't playing at the close theater near me that sometimes has Tamil films. I had to drive 45 minutes away. Evidently it was discount night or something because this place was mobbed. I was going to the screening and I had to sit in the very front row. It was assigned seats. You know, I thought I had gotten there plenty early enough and it was mayhem with all the people that wanted to see this movie. It has great buzz for good reason. It's an excellent film. Highly recommend seeing it in the theater. It has some intense action. There was a lot of people that brought little kids. I don't know that I would bring a little kid to this film because, you know, there's a lot of shooting, there's blood and so forth and a lot of violence, but um, highly recommend it. I mean, it's just so great to see Madhavan on the screen against VJ. They're both fantastic. And the framing device, you know, repeating from the animated is that, you know, VJ's character Veda says, let me tell you a story. And then we get a flashback because I thought this guy's not that old because he was in the pizza film only five years ago where he played a young man and all the stills that I had seen in the trailer, he's got this gray beard. Well, we get flashback stories of his life, his beginnings. And there was a young actor, I think his name is Kathir, who played his younger brother, Pooley. Have never seen him in anything before. He was so cute, and he was he was also very good. All the supporting p characters were really good, but he was a standout. I loved how clever the script was. The action was, you know, really good. But the best thing about it was seeing these two actors going against each other. And you know, sometimes you want the best, the hero and the heroine, and you're so excited about that. This one is where you've got two heroes. And it's still the fun. <laughs> Go and see it in the theaters. Loved it. Really highly recommend this film. Peace out.